and leading us, and leading us. Please stand and join Jean Bedell. You join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would you, would you all be seated except for Danny Lindau? We're going to do the four-way test, and you may remember a couple of weeks ago, we, we mentioned that Danny has been working with uh, middle school, high school, elementary school kids on the concept of the four-way test in school. And he has come up with the four rotary questions for kids, which are a lot simpler and for me make more sense. So. I will read each of them. Danny, why don't you read them, and then the rest of us will repeat. Do you need reading glasses? I got it. OK, repeat after me. It's easy. Ready? Is it true? Is it, true? Is it fair to everyone? Will it help build friendships? Will it be good for everyone? And Four awesome questions. Yeah. Will Rotarians who have guests or visiting Rotarians please stand? So, Willie, it's all yours, and you know you have to look at the camera. Okay. It's my distinct honor and privilege to have a good friend with me today. Cindy Domenico and I met ninth grade classroom some years ago and she has been an all-star and served us exceedingly well and i'm hoping that she'll join us in the transition from commissioners to rotary Hello, everyone. I would like to introduce Dan Brown, not the author, as I'm told. I didn't know Dan when I walked in today. Uh, he's here trying out our Rotary Club. And uh, I asked if he would be my guest, and he hasn't accepted yet because he hadn't done his due diligence. But I've had a delightful conversation. Dan, you and your wife and two children, six and eight years old, uh, had been living in California uh, prior to that, and your Australian accent is still a and, and rapturing, um, uh, have come to Boulder to uh, live in Boulder and ideally find Boulder as a home. So welcome very much, Dan. We're glad to have you with us today. Huppy decided to take a day off from work, so I said, okay, you got to come to Rotary with me. So this is my husband, Guy. <laughs> Hi again, everyone. To my left is Eve Kilmer, hopefully becoming a familiar face as we're uh, rotating tables over the last month or two now that she's been uh, a guest. But I have the paperwork in front of me today, so we're going to be uh, looking forward to making her an official part of the club very soon. So welcome. I have two guests. Look at the camera, guys. Girls, ladies, whatever. Women. <laughs> Both of them are affiliated with the, Den the um, Dairy Arts Center. And Beth Smith, the development director, has been here before. And I worked with her a lot when I was on the board there. And newer to the dairy is Melissa Fathman, who is the executive director, who's been there since November. Um, she has worked with a number of uh, groups in Boulder, including CMF, Boulder Brands, and EFA. And before that, she worked in New York at the Lincoln Center. And she told me that her son, at one point, said it was exhausting there. And he meant pollution, but it was also <laughs> true of life. So, so they came to Boulder. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
Hi, I have three guests today. I'll start over here. This is uh, Carrie Santos. Uh, we've known each other since our kids were together in Washington Bilingual School 16 years ago and worked on a project together. And she's now, um, besides here to take a look at Rotary, is uh, starting a uh, not-for-profit to teach girls coding and get them excited about technology, camps and classes, and also their, their mothers. So uh, please welcome Carrie. And uh, many of you already know Valerie Lippitz. Uh, Dr. Valerie Lippitz is uh, with Internal Medicine Associates of Foothills uh, with the hospital where she spent 10 years as the uh, chief physician and uh, is, is now uh, able to take patients again. So we're all pleased about that. Uh, and uh, she's also uh, taking a look at Rotary, and we're going to get some paperwork going today. And <laughs> Dorothy Rupert and Peter Ewing have been working on her for years, <laughs> as as has uh, Daryl. <laughs> That's right. His physician also. Uh, and she, she uh, brought with her her son, Colin uh, McDermott, who uh, six years ago was an exchange student to France from this club. And I'm going to let you, him tell us what he's been doing since. Uh, hello. Um, so I just, I can't like speak highly enough about the exchange program. Um, and I'd encourage all of you to um, either get involved in recruiting new exchange students or just to continue supporting the program. Uh, because I definitely would not be where I am today without it. Um, so I did my, my exchange six years ago, and after that I got into a combined university program between a Canadian university and a French university. Um, so my like exchange let me go on to do this unique program at university, um, and now I'm just thinking about masters. So please get involved with the exchange. Um, so, yeah, this next year, um, I'm taking a year to work in Israel teaching English. Um, and after that, uh, master's or graduate school. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you, Tom. It is my pleasure to introduce Charles Sorensen. He's my brother-in-law. He's from the Coeur d'Alene Rotary Club. I guess it's Idaho's largest Club, and it's a pleasure to have him here. Thank you. Uh, my name is Dick Golden. I've been here several times before, and I am starting the paperwork to become one of the members. Hi. It's my pleasure, always a pleasure, to be able to introduce Boulder Rotary's Outstanding High School Students of the Month. And I'm going to let them tell you a little bit about themselves, uh, Brooke and Alex. They're both juniors. Um, yeah, so I'm Brooke, and I am in a leadership program, as well as Alex at Boulder High School. We both do Panther Pride, um, which is pretty much helping freshmen um, get engaged into high school. Uh, my favorite club that I do at Boulder High School is theater. I recently was in the musical at Boulder High School um, in a leading role with one of my closest friends and it was a blast. Um, and uh, in the future I'm hoping to possibly pursue um, a major in chemistry or biology. Not positive which yet, but um, I also hope to incorporate musical theater in my life. Um, as long as I possibly can. So, yeah. Thank you. Hi, uh, I'm Alex Van Bossen. Uh, I'm a junior at Boulder High. Uh, I am part of Boulder High's student council and just got elected senior class president. So, pretty excited about that. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm also participating in Boulder High basketball um, on the varsity team this year. So, that's fun. Um, like Brooke said, I'm part of the Panther Pride program at Boulder High, which is a leadership program. Um, 
I'm thinking about in the future pursuing something with computer sciences or engineering. Uh, I've been really into coding lately and getting involved with that. So I'm just excited for the future and glad to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Hey everyone, uh, first of all, Colin, welcome back. Uh, this is the second week in a row that we've had a great example of what the exchange program can do and how it's such a launch pad for you guys. So um, congrats and, and uh, good luck in the future. Um, I'd like to introduce Scott Stocker, first of all. Um, Nancy's husband, Scott. Uh, he's here to visit with us today. And then I'd also like to introduce our students. Um, Daniel, this is his last time here. Um, he's actually uh, heading to Brazil uh, right after graduation. So uh, I'll let them say a little bit about themselves. Hi everyone, I'm Daniel, I'm from Brazil. Um, I came here to Boulder in 2016, 2017 for the exchange program. And I loved it, so I decided to come back this year. Um, so I'm a senior in Boulder High. I played, I was in varsity soccer this year. Um, and I, don't know, I just had a lot of fun and that's all because of you guys. So I just want to be ready for your role in that program, which is awesome. So thank you. Hi everyone, as you may know, we are uh, exchange students. <laughs> I am from Argentina and you know, I'm really grateful of being here. I love it so much and I wish I could stay more, but <laughs> I gotta go back. And well, um, I wanted to let you know that we have a bus trip coming soon and me and Paul are offering our services for any of you that needs help. We are like um, recording money to pay it because it's pretty expensive. <laughs> and if you need help in anything, we are here for you. Have a nice day. Hi, I'm Per. I'm from France. Um, so yes, we have a bus trip. And so my host mom, we have a party for us. So it will be the Monday, May 28th, so the Memorial Day. So if you want to come after Boulder, Boulder. So if you want to come, just come see me after the meeting. I will give you more, more information. Uh, that's being hosted by Julie Pierce, a member of our club, so I'll send out the details in the rib as well. Thank you all so very much. And Gary, if did we, you would... Did we miss anybody? Uh, Any Rotarians or guests or visiting Rotarians? Excuse me, let yep, me just check. Yep, yeah, I got to do it. I guess not. We're good to go. Thank you so much. Um, Gary, if you would come forward, and Michael Weatherwax too, then we'll kind of have you in queue here. Um, so while... Gary is coming forward and Michael will be following him. Uh, thanks to our greeters today, to Daryl Brown and to Linda Nels, Red Badger, those scanning you in, uh, Judy Pitt, Sue Lounsbury, and at the raffle was John Rieger, and of course the meeting management folks, Nathan, Wendy, Fred, and Fred, you've got to give up the mic and you've got to come up here, up the camera, excuse me. So, it is uh, my great privilege to int uh, reintroduce to you uh, Fred Hall, uh, who's transitioning today from red to blue. And I've had the privilege of knowing Fred as my wife, Shawnee, who we inducted last week, uh, her business partner, uh, and as a good family friend for over 30 years. Since joining Rotary in November, Fred has already become an indispensable member of our meeting management team and is going to chair it for next next session. Uh, also tech, doing tech support and work, helping us on the program committee. Fred grew up in Southern California where he was a Eagle Scout and, and then finally <laughs> achieved his uh, Master's in Electrical Engineering from UCLA. And while still in school there, he joined an engineering research for, firm uh, with a uh, company that focused on projects in human factors and robotics, followed by a stint as a VP of engineering for a company designing small computer systems. 
So uh, Fred moved to Boulder in 81 and in two, uh, 2015 retired after a 30 year career as president of Visual Communications Group and as partner of XCAL Visuals, where he served as the chief operating officer and chief technical officer while taking some uh, hint, uh, stints in, in writing, directing, editing, and all the aspects of production uh, of the uh, environmental train, uh, training videos that uh, the company was uh, distributing nationwide. He's a co-author of, of a book on audio sweetening for film and television, and is a uh, passionate about sports, especially basketball, craft beer, did some home brewing, and music, especially Grateful Dead. If you haven't already done so, please take time to get to know Fred better. He hides behind that camera every week, but uh, make a point of getting to know him. You won't be sorry. Shawnee and I have uh, treasured having him as our great friend for 30 years. Please welcome Fred as a blue bag. We're going to go now to Michael Weatherwax. Uh, Greg Gentry, who was going to be transitioning, is probably off recovering from commencement. So we'll do that another time. Michael. It is uh, my pleasure to be able to announce the fourth annual Ted Manning Memorial Donor Match Program for Paul Harris Fellowships. Um, Ted Manning and I, um, for about six years before his death in, in July of 2014, did run a match program. And when he passed away, I decided I was going to continue that program in his honor. Um, so here's how the program works. Uh, if you want to become a Paul Harris Fellow, which means that you have given $1,000 to the Rotary Foundation of Rotary International, that uh, you want to get to that $1,000 level, I'm offering you a deal of a 50% discount. Because if you put in $500 for a Paul Harris Fellowship, I'll match that with another 500 of my own money. And um, used to be Ted and I share that. I, he, he, um, when he passed away, I just took it over. Um, so if you are not, have not contributed to the Paul Harris, uh, to, uh, the Paul Harris Fund and, and become uh, a contributor to the Rotary Foundation. $500 will get you to the Paul Harris Fellowship level. If you've already contributed and already have a Paul Harris Fellowship, there are nine levels of Paul Harris. Paul Harris plus one through Paul Harris plus eight. And if you're at one of those levels in there, I will help you get to the next level or maybe to the next two levels if you decide to be exceptionally generous. So here's, here's how it really works in, in, in the context of that. It's, if, if you want to become a Paul Harris Fellow and you've ever de donated, put in $500, I'll match it with $500, you become a Paul Harris Fellow. If you are already a Paul Harris Fellow, say plus three, which means you've given $4,000 or more, uh, and let's say you put in $4,400, uh, you will want to get to Paul Harris plus four, which would be at $5,000, it's $600 short. So you put in $300, I'll match the $300. If you decide you want to skip to a Paul Harris plus five, you could put in $800 and I'll match the $800 and get you up to a Paul Harris fellow. The maximum I will do for any one individual person is $1,000. So I'm going to, I'll move you to the next level or I'll match up to $1,000 of what you put in as, as the two maximums. So, um, the way, you, the way you can do that is on your table. There's a form that um, it looks like this. There's a couple of them on each table. Uh, it's a Rotary Foundation contribution form. You can fill that out, attach a check to it, enter your social security, your, not your social security, your credit card number. And um, uh, if you get enter your social security number, I'll just hack it. So, but. Um, but yet you can enter the, um, your credit card number, give it back to me, and I'll take care of getting it sent in. Uh, or you can send it directly into the Rotary Foundation and just give me a copy of it. 
if you don't know where you are in terms of your giving to the Rotary Foundation, um, I have all the records of everybody in this club in terms of where they stand, so you can get at me at this meeting or you can call me um, or email me, and I'll be happy to assist you in anything you need to do to do, to do this. Uh, last year, we set the record for this um, this particular match program. Last year, we, the total con contributions to the Rotary Foundation out of this particular program are $28,000, $14,000 from me and $14,000 from all of you. And so I appreciate that. It would be nice if we could break the record uh, this year. But we don't want to break it by too much because it, <laughs> it, it, it also breaks me, yeah. So... Um, so I look forward to uh, hearing for as many of you as would like to become Paul Harris Fellows, and I would remind you that the support of our foundation is part of what makes you a good Rotarian. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Michael, and thank you for uh, the information about if we don't know where we are, that you've got the info. So Erin, come on up and tell us a bit about Rotation Day. Um, and as she's doing that, just a reminder that this coming Monday the 14th at the Millennium Harvest House, 7 o'clock, is the Congressional District 2 Forum, which we're participating in. So, there you go. Hi, everyone. Um, so, are you all excited about Rotation Day coming up here? Good. I'm excited about it. Um, so I'm your Rotation Day Chair today. I'm actually co-chairing with Andy Meyer. And, um, and I have a great team, so I wanted to introduce who I have and who's also responsible for putting together this awesome list of Rotation Day sites. So, um, so I mentioned Andy Meyer, and Andy's not here today, unfortunately, but the rest of my crew is. And um, I've got TK Smith, I've got John Rieger, I've got Meryl Glistrom and Gary Kahn, and without, without this team, these wonderful places would not be able to be set up. So I just wanted you to know who they are, and if you have any questions in the next couple of weeks during registration, um, please feel free to ask them, and some of them will be helping to get people registered as well. So, um, so what is Rotation Day? Well, Rotation Day, is, it harkens back to um, the very beginnings of Rotary, when in the early days, the Rotary members would rotate to each other's places of business and have their meetings there. So now, today, we honor Rotation Day um, by taking one of our Fridays that we would normally meet here and breaking up into groups and going to visit different organizations businesses, nonprofits in our community. Um, it's also a great opportunity for these businesses and these organizations to learn more about our Boulder Rotary Club. So I encourage you to talk up Rotary when you're there and maybe even have a little elevator pitch so we can um, increase awareness about who we are and what we're doing. So Rotary uh, Rotation Day is June 15th this year. And um, the organizations that we have are BioFrontiers Institute, the Boulder County Coroner's Office, Boulder Water Treatment Facility, the Humane Society, Idea Forge at CU, the Museum of Boulder, Reality Garage, which we had last year, and the You Fix It Clinic at EcoCycle. So hopefully these um, organizations look diverse to you and um, you'll be excited about at least uh, one or a couple of them. Um, and I think we tried to also um, have organizations that also touched on uh, some of the program areas that our committees work on. Um, you should have received a registration uh, link for the online registration yesterday. That came in your email. Um, we also have uh, these little flyers on the tables. So if you didn't see the registration link in your email inbox, you can use this. The link is here as well. Um, doing an online registration helps us keep organized and hopefully keep the information accurate and reflective of what you want. Um, so I encourage you all to do it. Um, but if you are um, a little uncomfortable doing the online registration, I brought my computer, my laptop here. So after the meeting today, I'll stick around. And anybody here who wants to get registered, I'm happy to do that. So, um, 
So, and the deadline for, uh, for registering is June 4th. So I look forward to uh, for Rotation Day, and I look forward to seeing you all there. And if you have any questions, see me after the meeting. Thanks. Okay, Lena, if you don't um, introduce Aaron and Chris for the program. Thank you so very, very much. Uh, John, could we have the winning ticket for that uh, raffle? Whoever's going to have a lot of, enough money to have dinner and away. $75 will buy you something. If your ticket happens to say 175358. Anybody going to take that for 75 bucks? All righty. Thank you, Linda. We're going to go to the PowerPoint, and uh, John will give you the details over there. Hello, Rotarians and guests. Welcome to the PowerPoint for May 11th, 2018. We want to give a special shout out to all the nurses and teachers who are Rotarians this week. They are all superheroes. <laughs> the Colorado Congressional District 2 Rotary Candidate Forum will be held Monday, May 14th from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Millennium Harvest House. That's this Monday, and if you were sent an email with a link last Wednesday, you should sign up or find the link in the rib, because you got to register if you want to have a seat. In the next segment in our free mental health series, sponsored by Boulder and Boulder Valley Rotary Clubs, Boulder Community Health Foundation and Mental Health Partners, is challenges to young people's well-being, marijuana use, social media, and teen suicide. The event will be held at the Boulder Jewish Community Center on Tuesday, May 22nd at 6.30 p.m. Join Jeannie Ritter, former First Lady of Colorado and an ambassador for the Mental Health Center of Denver for a forward-looking panel discussion on the challenges of today's teens and young adults. Shh. What? Shh. Why are we doing that? Well, because it's a silent auction, and silent auction items are needed. The fall signature event committee is in need of donated vacations or timeshares or hotels or airline points or dogs or cats or something. Contact Peter Ewing or Joanna Kane for the Rotary, Roaring Rotary silent auction. The World Community Service Schedule, the next meeting will be held on May 18th, 1047 sharp here at the JCC. And Rotation Day is right around the corner on Friday, June 15, 2018. It's the ultimate field trip for Rotarians, and it provides them with the opportunity to visit and learn about businesses, nonprofits, and government agencies represented in our club and community. It's also a great opportunity for the Boulder Rotary Club to raise our club's profile in the community. Registration will begin mid to late May. Some pretty cool places look like we might be able to, uh, oh. Yeah, way to screw it up right at the end. All right, sign up. <laughs> Next week's program, May 18th, is Tim Russo, KGNU Station Manager, with over 40 years of making waves. It's sure to be an exciting program, and we hope to see you here. Well, for better or worse, this has been the Rotary Club's PowerPoint for May 11th, 2018. Say it with me now. Everybody, have, have a great, great weekend. weekend. Thank you so very much. And I would like to have the following Rotarians please stand. Danny Landau, Jack Thompson, Sue Lounsbury, Jancy Campbell, Michelle Carpenter, if she's still here, uh, Marilyn Terrell, Alessandro Sachs, y'all stand up if your name was called. And if it wasn't, there are names on the back of the program. These are Rotarians who are members of this club or another for 10 to 15 years. Thank you for your membership.
and thank you PowerPoint creators. We always enjoy whatever's next to come. And at this point, you've been the best possible place, the best possible place that you could be on Friday afternoon. And if you would like a best next possible place to be on Monday evening, then Millennium Harvest House, seven o'clock for the Congressional District Forum. So in the meantime, go out and have a wonderful weekend. And for those celebrating mothers or friends of, have a great one. See you next week.